ceremonies. It was enough for you? You wanted more? You wanted less? Um, yeah, I, I think the number of ceremonies was perfect. Um, I, when I first learned about ayahuasca um, six years ago, I didn't realize that most retreat centers offer more than one ceremony, and I, I didn't really understand why, and now I completely understand why. And um, having the three nighttime ceremonies, I think, was perfect. Um, like, I, I got the most out of my trip here by having the third ceremony and the fourth ceremony. Um, and you learn, you learn each time how to deal and navigate the journey. Um, because the first the first time you have no understanding of what's going to happen and then, and so there's a lot of anxiety and you don't know how to deal with it necessarily as well as you do on the last ceremony the first ceremony even though Sylvia prepares us with the workshops the workshop before the first ceremony you still don't really understand how to deal with the journey because it's your first time and there's so many insights learned in the group sharing the, the day after and you just have a lot of time to think um, about what happened after your first ceremony, and then you get a second workshop and a second ceremony, third. And so, um, and especially the, the, um, the, the daytime ceremony, that was incredible. Um, that was, you know, I, I enjoyed it so much, and I don't think a lot of centers offer that. Um, and in, in such a safe environment, a lot of centers probably offer outdoor ceremonies, but it just sounds like you're just sent into the jungle, you get to be by yourself, do whatever you want, and here there's limitations on where you can go and what you can do, and it's it's perfect. So for me, I think um, four four is a very good number. I don't think it's too little and it's not too much, and um, it's like Rachel said, it it takes time first because your dosage, you have to figure that out. You have to come into the first one. You kind of lose. The, the fear that you have or the rest of the fear that you have or whatever it is because you're not completely like you don't know what you're going into for me going into the first time you always have a little bit of fear or of of what's coming you know just like just not knowing what's coming and um definitely for me the third one was the best and the most i got out of it but the first and the second were very useful and very informative and um my last one it was you know, it was just a wonderful experience, a different experience, and just being able to be out in nature and just, it just like closed the deal for the whole retreat. Plus, I think um, it takes away a lot uh, physically. It's, it's emotional and physical. And, you know, it's a lot on your body. So I think more than four would have sent me home, you know, probably it needed a vacation from my from my <laughs> workshop <laughs> vacation. <It's> too, <laughs> yeah, it is it's just too exhausting it's to exhausting, do more yeah. than more it's than a lot that. of work. It's it a is. lot of work. Yeah. It's a, I didn't think I was coming here to work. Because some people said no, but other places offer seven ceremonies. I can't imagine. Okay, but it's a lot of work. If you are doing proper ceremonies with a good quality of ayahuasca Really, you don't need much more than oh, that. It's like too much, too, to handle. Like, I, did mm -hmm. I learn everything I wanted to learn here? No, but that's okay. I learned a lot, and now I can go take all that home and work on that, mm -hmm. and then come back if I need to. But even if you have more ceremony, you will not learn everything. That's what, right, right. It, there's you, always, you need there's time always, to there's process always, yeah, yeah. and apply what you learn exactly. in your everyday life. Exactly. Yeah, the integration is really important because one thing that I've come out of this experience understanding is that nature works in poetry almost, in a storyline. And if you only have one, then you are confused because you got two lines of a poem and it's not a haiku, so like you don't know what it, it's talking about. But the second and the third and the, four, and the fourth, it all weaves together. And I, I, got, I have to tell you that if I were to just come out with that first one or that second one, and not have the third and the fourth, my story and my learnings would be so incomplete. Mm -hmm. um, so I think four ceremonies was definitely the way to go. Um, and also the time for integration. 
and I'm still integrating things. <laughs> so it's a lot. So to have seven ceremonies, I mean, I don't know. Like, my brain, I would have a headache for days. <laughs> I just, it would just be very confusing for me. So I like that there is time in between and that I also, I feel now I have a connection with ayahuasca that I can explore in the future after I'm done dissecting and understanding everything that I learned through my ceremonies here. And you, Aaron? Me personally, I would have probably gone for one more, so five in total, but that's purely because I had two very pleasant <laughs> journeys, <laughs> very insightful, and I kind of wanted to just find out more, so, mm -hmm. but there's the option to come back, so. I think it's very important to be far from your home, no, to be far from your job, from the family, so you need time to dedicate to ayahuasca, to integration, to have your insights. So a lot of people is asking me, can you give me one or two ceremonies? I don't have a lot of time. And I prefer not because you never know what can happen. In one ceremony can, ha can be too much or can be nothing. So you need more time. You need more diet. You need to be clean. It was too tough, the diet, the preparation? Well, for me, on the ceremony bit, so um, more would have been better. Partly because my first three were very similar, mm -hmm. so I didn't really get much out of it. I mean, it was so celestial. It was great. It was like watching a sci-fi movie, um, and I'm in it, but it didn't hit what I wanted it to hit, which was the reason why I came. And then the last day, um, I'd say that first half hour is when it kind of kicked in and I actually started to see what everybody else started to see, which is like, wow, I didn't know that actually. I thought you all BS them. <laughs> <laughs> that and was so, the last ceremony. Yeah, that was, the and I only had like maybe 20 minutes and I started actually starting to see things that are like uh, not out in space. And um, yeah, so I could actually start to put meaning to it. And then obviously, because I wanted to experience the outside since that kind of that's the package deal. Um, so that's why I kind of cut that short. So another one would have been good because I think my experience was kind of going in that direction now. So <laughs> if you came back again, now you know how to do it, how to yeah, exactly. how to work, and what to how to go in, which mindset to go in with. I think you'd you'd have. Well, the other thing is I'm blocked a lot too because you know you guys. Although it's hard to give to share because I didn't have the experiences that you guys had, so it was really hard to kind of put myself out. But with the inner child, it was kind of I guess I could have been more forthright. Um, it's just hard. Like, it's really difficult, so, so yeah, I need another whack at it, so. Mm -hmm. So, especially when you are very rational, no? Yeah. It's weird, everything is weird. I, I used to be super rational, and it took me a long time to understand <laughs> and uh, discover how to move in this uh, Well, it's alien. I'm not, I'm not spiritual at all. Like, on a scale of zero to ten, I'm, like, at a zero. So now I think I'm maybe 0 0.5. <laughs> it's a slow process because, you know, part of it is just like how real is that experience, right? Because it's happening in your head um, and yet you're out of, you're here somewhere. It's like, I guess like LSD or, I mean, I don't do any of that stuff. So it's really hard to put sense to all of it. And that's where you have to release yourself, I think, to be able to let it kind of do what it's supposed to do. So I'm working on it, but it's not easy. It feels Germanic. so real. It feels so real when it, when it, you, like I had just so many moments of clarity. Like I know that that's that's real. Mm -hmm. I just knew it. And then you, you know when you wake up and you're in the real world, um, you know you start to question it more and you start <laughs> to judge it. And then you're like, is that really true? And I'm like, yeah, that is true. That really is. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree completely. I had absolute clarity in two of my journeys and. There's absolutely no doubt that that, that is truth. They're, they're just memories which have been locked away. And, you and also consider yourself zero before zero spiritual? Spiritually, um, no, I would say, I mean, I'm open-minded to everything. Um, but like I said earlier, I'm, I always take quite a scientific approach and uh, I, I like to know how things so, work. But in spite of that, in you spite of that, had um, clarity that was real? Oh yeah, absolutely, 100%. Why? Why you were so sure it was real? Because. It, it opened memories which which I knew were there. I just I'd focused on negatives all my life for so long that I'd shut these good memories away. And and in my journey, I saw these memories again, and it reminded me that it changed my whole memory of my childhood. You are saying about negativity. You know that ayahuasca is an entheogen. 
and enteos, enteos means enteos, God inside. And this is probably what uh, ayahuasca helps you to connect with God inside, which means uh, the good part, the, the, the love, because mm. if you were always focusing in the negative part, no, it was yeah. a lack of trust, a lack of faith, a lack of love. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I got that. I, I got, got that in my first one. <laughs> Boom, there yeah. you go. That's what you're, you came here for. And the rest was like, yeah. And I got that. I got that. that my most powerful uh, ceremony was the third, third one where I just found self-love. It was incredible. It was just amazing. So this feeling of God inside even though you don't, some people don't believe in God, it doesn't matter, but this, this feeling of, of love and, and goodness and gratitude. Mm -hmm. Actually, after my, after my second journey, I was so excited for the sun to rise so I could get out and start this new day. It felt like, <laughs> it felt like a rebirth. It felt like, yeah. you know, there's, everything's positive. There's, the, I just, <laughs> and I had this real urge just to start life again. And yeah. Yeah, so did I. I felt like a. The first two ceremonies, my body was, I don't know, tired in a way. But then when I started having the visions of like that God within that you're talking about, or at least my higher self is what I realized it was. And I started feeling so much more energy, so much more energized that I realized that, you know, and I'm still dissecting the pieces to it, but it's like it wasn't me that was keeping me so low energy this whole time. Was there a blockage there? I'm still dissecting that, but yeah, I, I woke up. The, I think we saw each other when we woke up the next day, and I was like, "Hey, I'm so excited!" <laughs> For I don't know what reason. But, <laughs> yeah, it's. I, I definitely touched that part of myself, my own power, and my own joy. Uh, and what about the excursions? <laughs> yeah, really important. So because this is so intense, like after a ceremony, you're so wiped out. Um, and, and, you know, plus with the workshops, I mean, there's so much happening at one time. And then to be able to go to the beach or go to the waterfall. And it's also a bonding experience because we're kind of, you know, even though we're in a group setting, we're still individuals and we don't really have the opportunity to actually hang out um, other than talk about our issues or our experience or whatever. Um, so I think that was really important to be able to have that break. I also wanted to say the massage therapy and the yoga. Mm -hmm. um, I only went on one excursion just because I decided I, I really wanted massage two times and to be in the pond. I just, I love the pond or lagoon or whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to spend as much time there as possible. And the massage therapist, um, so, so wonderful, so nice and um really good massage yeah. therapist and the yoga, and the yoga. Oh, I felt, I've yeah. always felt like yoga has been intimidating because me too back in New York everybody who's a yogi yeah. onto yoga is always like dressed super yeah. cute yeah. and like everybody's like it's a thing and I don't want to be part of it is what I usually say but when I got here I actually had one of my biggest insights outside of the ceremony of drinking ayahuasca during yoga it just came up and I think it was because how open I was with my body and connected I was with my body that this insight was able to just pop up and I was just like, wow, blown away that I didn't have to take ayahuasca in order to figure this out. At least ayahuasca helped liberate that, but the yoga was top notch. I really yeah. liked it. And I've, I've never done yoga before and so I was, I was worried about how it would be and I have foot pain and I the only thing I know about yoga is this you're standing and doing all sorts of moves and positions but our yoga was mostly seated or laying down and the, the yoga instructor was so nice and peaceful it was just a very tra tranquil experience mm -hmm. and difficult but good do you think you will recommend ayahuasca or to come here to somebody you love dearly Everybody should take yeah, it. Yeah, I think everybody, <laughs> everybody, I think everybody, everybody should take benefit, it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know that not everybody can drink ayahuasca. Not there are some restrictions. Yeah, and not everybody's ready. Definitely, you have to be ready and open to this type of medicine. So, you know, if you're having doubt, uh, you know, do your research. Definitely recommend it. It I would change your life. I would say also, before ayahuasca, I would 
explore these ideas in my own head anyway and I would tell myself say I, I was having a bad day and I was in a bad mood and it's upsetting everyone around me I would tell myself that I'm doing the wrong thing but I wouldn't be able to correct it after I, during some of the ceremonies I had time to see myself again but it's such a positive experience that you, you, you have a different view and then and then when you come out your mind is in a completely different it's yeah. completely positive and I think it just so you trust that up. can yes, be good for your family be good for anybody yeah, yeah. So, I mean, so that, but you have to be willing to surrender yeah. and also acknowledge the fact that you've got issues because if you don't make the first that's like an alcoholic if you don't acknowledge that you're an alcoholic you really can't fix or even start to delve into whatever the issues mm -hmm. are causing it. Mm -hmm. So, so you have to make that first step. You know, Ed, who came in December, I mean, he's got the whole family coming. Which, <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously, everybody, and, and to include his actual family, I mean, they're all kind of booking because they're very excited to get fixed. So, or, it's, it's very know. common. Somebody come first. The, the first time they came alone, and they see what happened here. <laughs> then they like and they feel safe so they, they come back with somebody or they start mm. sending family. Yeah, but his transformation was off the hook. I mean, like 360 degrees. Crazy. Good. <laughs> it was, yeah, very good. I <laughs> wish I could have gotten some of that. So I didn't get it. I got some, but, you know, anyway, it takes time. So. For some people it takes more time. Never compare to others. It's hard not to, though, Respect because... Respect your, your time. But the thing is, is, you know, you said in the beginning, is, you know, it's not a... It, I came with the intention of, it's the miracle pill, right? I'm going to take this uh, and... It's not true. Well, but it's I thought... It's not the so. magic pill. Well, magic. I thought it was. So I had really high expectations, um, which is the, the worst way to start anything, I think, because, um, yeah, because there's nowhere to go but down, so to speak, so... First, you have to collaborate with your own transformation. It's not something that ayahuasca will give you and you are receiving and doing nothing so it's not the magic pill this is very important to people acknowledge you will have to do your part yes. it's a big help you, you also feel like it's a teacher sorry yeah. Yeah. Okay. as I say you also have to trust yourself because before I came here I looked at some online reviews of people who had been through ceremonies and, and they're so objective that some people have bad experiences and then they they talk badly of ayahuasca but well, you, you need to, to be, be in honest. a safe environment, uh, in ceremony. There are many ways to drink ayahuasca. Yes. Yeah. But also, you need to trust in the process. If you drink ayahuasca and you try to control, you will have a bad trip. But it's not because what you are seeing is bad. It's because you don't like what you are seeing and you don't want to see that and you want to stop it. That is a bad trip. Yeah. But even if you are seeing something painful that you allow, eventually you will feel relief. So that that was painful will became neutral or a relief. So the key is always to let go. You know, I will say one thing that was really amazing is um, uh, it's the one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I think that's so critical because we're in a group setting and it's easy not to say anything because there's so many people talking and then you don't want to disrupt somebody else's trying to get themselves fixed. So I think between you and Rohan, you know, making yourselves available, even if it's for 30 minutes or an hour, um, to have that one-on-one -on -one to get the clarity because it's really hard to get it sometimes when you're in a group setting um, because you're seeing stuff and you have no clue as to how to connect the dots and you're not going to do it in the group setting as much because we don't, you know, it requires more individual attention. And so I think for me that was like probably the most profound thing of the whole thing because it kind of helped. It was really hard for me, so, yeah. Yeah, we are very aware of that. That's why we are always available. If yeah. you need to talk in private. Yeah, even just talking at lunch or breakfast or dinner, and you're always there. And so yeah. it's really, really nice. Well, it was a pleasure to have you here and let's stay in contact have a wonderful stay in Itacare thank you thank you thank you, yeah, thank you. Thank you. both of you thank you.